Hi there. Um, so before I get into the video, we've got a charity event coming up on the 19th, which is for Hope for the Day. If you could join that stream, I would be most thankful. Anyways, on to the video. So, clout. I'm going to teach you how to clout chase. <laughs> or more, more specifically, like how to gain a presence is essentially what I'm going to be saying here. So what is clout as we see, see it? So for me, clout is just essentially how strong you are within a network of people. That is as simple as it gets. It is just your position within a network of people. So how do you make clout? Well, the first thing, make friends with your peers. That is probably the first and most important step out of, out of these. Well, then again, no, there's quite a few important steps, but Genuinely making friendships with people who do what you do is very beneficial to yourself in terms of what your content creation, your art, your music, whatever it is that you do. Being surrounded by peers, people who do what you do, is a very good way for you to grow your own network. Now, what does this mean? This doesn't mean leeching off their, their networks. That's something that I am very familiar with. and. Trust me, we can tell when that's happening. We can tell when somebody's only trying to be invested in you because they want what you've got. What I mean by making friends with your peers is by, if, for example, for me, I do 3D art. So if I see somebody else doing 3D art, I'll message them. I'll usually say like, hey, I love what you do. I really like this model. And I'll actually have a look at some of their work and genuinely look at what they do. If they're a streamer, I'll try and actually appear in a stream and I'll try and be in their chat for a while and I'll engage with them on multiple streams. Um, what this means is, it doesn't just mean seeing them and shotgunning every single thing that you see um, related to that, that person, like everybody in your field. What you want to do is make a genuine connection to somebody who you like, who you're on the same mind went wave with. Because here's the thing, all streamers, all artists, all things, we're not all the same. We don't all agree on everything. We don't all get along nicely. So what you want to do is find the people that are fairly similar to you in both mindset and what they do. And then you're usually able to connect much better. And then you get involved with them. And then you start doing things with them. And then they start talking to their friends. And then you start talking to your friends about them. And that's how you genuinely make a proper connection. Like that's what you should essentially be doing when it comes to networking. Find a people who do what you do, putting out those feelers, those little icebreakers, and scan a vibe. Not everybody you'll have a vibe with, but some you will. And, and those that you do, stick with them. Because hey, they're good. Support them. Go to their streams, shout them out from time to time. Um, if they do artwork, share their commission posts, you know, genuinely get invested in them because if you want people to be invested in you, it's got to start somewhere, right? You got to show a little bit of investment in other people. So that's probably one of the first things, make friends with your peers. The other, th another thing is to be a genuine version of yourself. If you are intending to be some sort of content creator, be it YouTuber, artist, streamer, whatever, if you're intending to be out there and be somebody with a voice, you've got to kind of be genuine to yourself. You've got to kind of have... You can't really play a character. Because if you play a character, if you play something that you're not, it's going to slowly peel the walls away a little bit. Bits are going to come off and... People are going to be able to tell that you're not being genuine. Uh, no, like, we don't want... Maybe well, maybe you do, but most people don't like the whole hype beast. Yeah, baby, let's go! And that's not really how you feel. Um, so be genuine to yourself, because it makes it easier. Because guess what? You're just doing what you do. You don't even have to put any effort into it. It's also very good for your mental health as well. Because that's something that you do need to pay attention to. Yes, you do. Take care of yourselves. But yeah, um, another thing I would say, clout, networking, it all really links into reputation as well. Your reputation carries a lot, especially in a niche community such as this. Um, so one thing that you've got to make sure that you do is own up to who you are. Own up to mistakes that you may have made. Open up to flaws and 
vulnerabilities that you might have. Make sure that you are able to be seen as the person you are. You don't, like, not everyone's going to like you at the end of the day. One thing you've got to bear in mind, not everyone's going to like you. That's not what this is about. But if you're genuine and you open up to what you've, who you are, what you've done, where you've come from, even if some of those things aren't perhaps the most pleasant, people will respect that. And that's, again, this is this reputation coming in. On the other hand as well, though, own what you do. Be confident in what you're presenting. Be yourself. I am Cade. I am a 3D artist on YouTube telling you about clout right now. I know my position. I know where I stand. And because I know that, everybody else kind of knows that. Genuinely is a case of fake it till you make it. I used to, as a joke, say that I'm the only fairy 3D artist on Twitch. I'm not. I never was. But just saying that, put my mind in this position that I am doing this. This is me. This is who I am. Um, and doing that with yourself, knowing what your content is, knowing what your artwork is, knowing what you provide is very useful. And you got to believe in it yourself because if you don't believe in it, why would anybody else? So don't say things like I'm a small aspirational artist or I'm just a small time streamer. Like, honestly, I would recommend you don't say those things. Believe yourself to be, I am a streamer. I am a content creator. I am an artist. Like, because you are. You're not aspirational. Aspirational's the guy that sits on his chair watching 17 YouTube videos in a row and then does nothing but say, whoa, man, I wish I could be a YouTuber. Don't be that person. Just do it. Like, actually just have that confidence in yourself. And once you have that confidence in yourself, other people do. Um, so. Why am I talking about clout? Why am I telling you to go out and actually get clout? Because personally, I dislike this. Um, I dislike the whole everybody's got to be this like genuine, wholesome self where no, it's not about the numbers. It's not about the growth. It's not about all of this. That's baloney. That's stuff that we tell ourselves to make ourselves feel good. Realistically, when you're wanting to do content creation as a job, uh, art as a job, when you're wanting to push this stuff, it actually does matter. Like, as much as we can say that numbers shouldn't be the driving factor, they shouldn't. None of this should be the thing that drives you to do the thing. You should do 3D art because you love it. You should do streaming because you love it. That is true. But at the same time, if you're looking to make it into a job, if you're trying to press it into something more to support you, then it does kind of matter. And I do hope that these little bits of advice kind of do help. So go out there. Actually, see if you can meet some new friends. Talk to some people. See if you vibe with others. Um, be yourself. Know what you've done, but know what you are doing. And yeah, with that, I'm just going to say I love you all. You're all great. I hope you have a lovely day. Mwah.